right. First ever podcast with everyone in the room. Oh my god. How's that yeah. work? You're the only one that's going to be stressed about this. Uh, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I, uh, I'm just uh, glad we're doing it. Yeah, well, uh, I've consumed 17 million calories this week. Yeah. You're in New York, too, which uh, has kind of... Yeah. This is the first ever podcast uh, from the from the road. Well, are, are you in New York? Where are you? Where are you? New Jersey? Actually, we're in New Jersey, New Jersey. Uh, we're, we're in the room eating pizza because they wouldn't let us eat in the lobby because COVID gets you in the lobby only. So. Well, I mean... But everybody else, that, but but there was people drinking coffee in the lobby. That was okay. Okay. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. It was... Right. Right. Yeah. We also got in the elevator, and the lady. I asked the lady, "Did she want to come in the elevator?" And she said, "No, only two people allowed at a time." And my first thought was, she probably just toured the entire Times Square with nine p- million people asked to ask, but she won't get into an elevator with us. Right, well, oh, and then but yeah, you guys look dirty. I mean, it's probably it was us, right? Yeah. What? We're doing the podcast right now. This is the podcast. On the phone. How else how else does does she think you do it? Ben said, "How else do you think we do the podcast?" <laughs> On the computer, she thought. No. So we got a good story though. Yeah. It just happened. Okay. We go to pick up pizza. And we're walking out and a guy is driving and there's a guy in one of those like scooter gimmicks that you can rent, you know? Yeah. Like you can rent a scooter gimmick. Well, he's beeping the horn at him, but the guy's in the scooter lane. So he's not like out of line at all. And the guy's like beeps his horn and runs him off the road into like a snowbank. The guy falls off the scooter. So the guy gets up and hammer punches the rear view mirror of the car off. The guy gets out of the car and starts to fight him. Like went after him. Yeah. Just happened. Sounds like, like a five minutes or long, long. yeah. It sounds like a uh, video I'd see on uh, on TikTok. Well, we couldn't film it because we were across the street walking away. No, I'm not. I'm and just, we had pizza in our hands. I'm just, it sounds like one of those yeah. one minute videos where you. Uh, yeah, the, we the guy got out of the car and he went out, and they were there for like five minutes because as we were walking, we can see they were still going, they were still fighting. Yeah. In the street, and people were beeping the horns like, "Get out of the way, asshole!" Like that's going funny. around him is great. That's funny. I've, yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. I've seen those like mid-traffic fights where people right, get out of right. the car and uh, yeah, go after each other, and everyone's just stuck there waiting and watching. Uh, yeah, we had that once in uh, Providence uh, in the '90s where uh, we we were driving and we were stuck at a light, and we looked over to uh, mm-hmm. to the to the right. Uh, over on the sidewalk, there was a lot of noise, and it was these two guys fighting. And it was uh, one guy put the other guy through the plate glass window. Oh my god! Yeah, and like you know, like the old school glass, like just like mm-hmm. it, it breaks and like the big chunks fall like guillotines. I right. swear, Cut I somebody. don't know where that guy got cut, but I've never seen that much blood appear out of nowhere so quickly. Oh. Like. Like he had to have died, like we like, really. I mean, I can't see that much blood come out of someone that quickly, and, and you'd be able to stop yeah. it. You know, if the fight's even over. I mean, you know what I mean. The guy, there was like it was literally in the process of some guy trying to beat him up. So, uh, wow. Or or get beat up by that guy. So, either yeah, way, the, the other participant wasn't probably going to be rushing to lift a finger to take a shirt off the. Cover to help him not die, right. right? Yeah, right. So, right, he was like, "I'm just gonna let him die at this point." I mean, in theory, maybe I saw someone get killed that day, but I don't know for a fact. Right, I it's one of those I don't know for a fact, but I know it's true kind of things. Right, uh, right. <laughs> like you know, something bad happened that day. Well, we well, I saw something bad happen. I just don't know yeah. if mm-hmm. something worse happened afterwards. Yeah, and we walked away, and these guys were still going. I don't oh, even know what man. happened. No clue. You didn't want to like. Yeah. Uh, he just left his car in the road too to go after the guy. Like, like it was nothing. That's funny. Yeah, but we had hot pizza in hand. So you couldn't stop them help anybody. There's no. No, the, no. The pizza is more important. <laughs> the Good Samaritan rule no. doesn't apply when you got hot, no. like a box of hot pizza, hot, no. a box of hot pie in your hand. Good Samaritan rules out the window. Yeah, fucking. At that point, right out the window. No, and the pizza was so hot. Eric blew, like, took a breath, and it like went through the box and, and like 
he pushed the box down. I don't even know what happened. And, like, smoke came out the other end. That's how hot it was. Yeah. We got a veggie pie. I mean, it's... Gotta get our veggies in. Wait, how gotta cold? Gotta get our greens in. How cold is it up there? It's only, uh, I don't know. It was, like, 40 degrees today. I mean, it wasn't just his dirty breath going through the box? No, no, no. The wind, though, was, is pretty vicious out there. But, uh... It was actually colder in where I live in Georgia today than here, so yeah, it wasn't too bad, you know. Yeah, I but heard. we did we did the world tour today. I mean, what? I, how much of the world did you tour? I think we will. I probably walk more today than you've walked in the last six months. See, I I've, kid you not. I'm not sure that's true. <laughs> you probably walked off everything. Yeah, I've everything. I've walked off everything. I've I, yeah, I, I, no, I, I have. Impossible. <laughs> Not He's like impossible. There's no way. No way. There's you can't walk that much in a day. I think we walk up and down the stairs. We probably walk five five miles, six miles today, five six miles the other day, easily. Yeah. Easily. Yeah. A day. Still, and you're still fat. So there's no. Well, I, I will tell you this. I did make a. I looked at Lex and I said, Lex, there's no fat people here. Lex uh -huh. looked at me, looked at my stomach, and said, What are you doing here? <laughs> so. Yeah, that yeah, happened today. It's like there is now, fatty. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Well, this veggie pizza is <laughs> out of this world. It's out of this world. Uh, let me tell you something. There's no purpose to putting vegetables on a pizza. Well, I feel like I had to get some veggies in this week. <laughs> like, how like, many pizzas did you eat this week? Is the is the question? Just one. One pizza this week. Yeah. All right. Yeah, just not one. bad. I just had the one rough day. I mean, good. One rough twenty-four hour period this week. Yeah, I've eaten a lot for both of us, so we're I good. Say, I say day, but it was literally two days. But it was within twenty-four hours, so I'm counting it as a hmm. day. I'm doing this. Well, I'm doing the Steiner math for it. Yeah. Well, not not the Steiner. That's the realtor. The other one. Right. Huh. Yeah. So, we'll tell you this though. Uh, I really did walk a lot. This I'm not even kidding. Like we walked so much this week, it's not even funny how much we walked. But uh, the food here is far beyond what I have in Georgia. Like I, you can go to the shittiest pizza place here, and it's still better than Georgia pizza. It is, no doubt. And they know what a bagel is. We had bagels this morning. Right. I'm posting pictures left and right on the Instagram. I mean, I'm only here to single-handedly hear... carrying the page. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll... We might have to do a photo check for the last week and see who's who's uh huh. who's done what. But um I'm really only here for one thing. I need a I need a report on the other day. I saw well, speaking yeah. of the pictures, I just need that whole story of the so, uh, the uh you you lying jumping uh pseudo celebrities and your and your uh uh pancake uh visit. So here's what happened. So yeah, yeah, yeah. the girl who works at Brownstone Can Pancake Factory in New Jersey, she had messaged me. Like I did a duet, I don't know, it was a couple months ago, and like kind of went back and forth. And then I said I was coming here. We were going to go to the restaurant, blah, blah, blah. This weekend, told her we were coming. That day, was like, hey, we're here. She's like, I got to, you know, I'm going to get a table set up for you guys. Blah. We walk in. They have a table. Her exact words were, I put the table here. It has good lighting. Like if we were some sort of pros at this Social media. Thing. So you're you're already you're already skipping important details. Well, we what details? We skipped we skipped for front of the line. We were there. We went right, right but in. How long was the line? Like how how long of a wait was it? How many people were outside waiting that gave you dirty looks? I you got to paint a picture here, man. So there was this is the line. This is what makes the pancakes taste better. Is right, right. counting how many people you pissed off to get them. Probably fifteen. Fifteen. One five. Out to the sidewalk. Okay. Yeah. So. How long of a wait is that? Like a half an hour, an hour? Oh, no more. It's got to be more than that because the place is not that big. Okay. So maybe an hour, 45 minutes, mm -hmm. you know, because um, it's an experience when you go there. It's not just like, it's not like you just eat food and you just like, you move on. Like it's an experience. So we sit down and she introduces herself to us and she's like, hey, uh, now their account has 115,000 followers. So. She introduces uh, herself to us, and then we do, like, we get the menus, and we order. We each order a meal, what we wanted. Uh, I got peanut butter. Who was there, there with you? So it was me, Vandal, uh, my kids, his wife, Emily, and then his daughter, and then my brother, Nick. 
so uh, who like, lives here. What is that, like seven or eight people? There's seven, seven of us there okay. was, right? Seven, yeah. So I ordered for myself, I ordered, you know, we ordered coffee, whatever, but I ordered a, I ordered peanut butter banana pancakes with uh, two eggs scrambled with cheese, two sausage links. Uh, that's what I got. Right. Uh, Eric got, we'll go through the orders here. What did you order? He got a, oh, this is, this, you're going to pop for this one. He ordered a pancake wrap. It was an omelet, uh, a California omelet with like avocado and stuff inside rolled in a pancake. The pancake was the wrap. They rolled it in the pancake. That's weird. That's strange. Weird, but amazing taste. Yeah. So he got that. Uh, Nick, what did you get? Nick, Nick just got pancakes. <laughs> Nick the Dick is the boringest person in the universe. He literally got plain pancakes as if he's with IHOP. I, did, like I feel like uh, ordering plain pancakes at a place like that comes with a complimentary punch to the face. Oh, I've been wanting to punch him in the face all week. So. I'm just saying, like, if, yeah. you're, if you're willing to only get plain pancakes, you should be willing to agree to a punch in the face from the owner. Right. You know, yeah, he deserves it. You're insulting well, Le Lex at least got chocolate chip pancakes. Right. Uh, now, but Lex is mad. She's mad that Nick is Nick the Dick and she doesn't have a nickname. Oh, don't worry. I'll take care of that. He said he's got that. Give him, give him a couple days. Uh, Emily, what did you order? At Brownstone. She had a waffle with eggs, bacon, sausage, and home fries. The home fries was like a huge plate, though. Yeah, Nick got home fries. Like, I'm talking it was like its own plate of home fries. Right. Separate. Like, it, they didn't even put it on with the rest of the stuff. It was like a separate plate. Right. Uh, and then my brother got peanut butter pancakes, too, I think. Peanut butter banana. So we're, we order, and then she comes over, and she says, hey uh, – I don't know exactly how she put it, but she said, hey, uh, is it, does anybody have any allergies is what she asked first. And we're like, no. And she's like, I'm going to bring over some stuff like for TikTok, like on the house. Oh. And we're like, oh, OK, cool. So the first thing she brings over is a plate of French fries with pulled pork and melted cheese and three, four sunny side up eggs on top of it. Jesus Christ. So we we all eat that, and every one of us is like, "This is the best thing on the on the on the table right now." Like, this is out of this world. But then she tops herself. We thought that was it. Like, I thought, okay, that's all she's bringing. All of a sudden, she comes out with cinnamon toast crunch, French toast. You need. Are you sitting down? <laughs> well, I'm. Yeah. Yes. I'm he sorry. got quiet for a second. Yeah, I don't no, know. I'm. I'm, I'm okay, kind of so like in a zone here. I'm. Lex said I'm, you passed out. My eyes are glazing uh, over. So it was three slices, three slices of challah bread, challah, right? Challah. Yeah. But they're like, it was like they deep fried them in cinnamon, <laughs> and then ice cream on top, vanilla ice cream, and cinnamon toast crunch cereal, right, all over it. Then we all take a bite of that, and all of us are like, "Okay, this is the best thing on the table." Like did that, did by all, far. Did all that come out after your food? We're still eating, and she's bringing it out. Oh it's coming God. out left and right. So now we're done, right? We're done. Everybody's done. We're tapping. She's like, I've got one more thing. Is that okay? And we're like, yeah. And she brings out – She oh, she says it has to be someone's birthday. So we fake a birthday. We told her Lex, but she really brought it to to Elle and, and Eric. But it was weird like because we were faking it. It doesn't even matter. All right. So she brings out this milkshake of some sort, smoothie. Strawberry smoothie with the outside of the mug has on like – okay, on top of the mug was – Okay, on top of the mug was a piece of red velvet cake on top of the smoothie <laughs> with two Pop-Tarts stuck through it, and then it was a milkshake. And then the sides of the mug had like Rice Krispie treats stuck to the side of the mug oh, I'm like can and up. candy. This is too much. Yeah, sprinkles. like sprinkles, rock candy. Oh. Fruity Pebbles. I mean, this is candy right. Bars. Candy bars inside of it is ridiculous. Pop tarts. Oh, rock candy. I mean, this thing was a, a whole show, like a show. So then we eat. You know, we each take a piece of that, and it's like. But by far the best thing to me was a cinnamon toast crunch French toast. It was like next level. Right. The, I, right. Emily said the ice cream with it. When you ate the ice cream with a bite, and you got a little piece of cinnamon toast out of this world. It's so. Is this the owner 
or she just works there? No, she works there. Oh my but God. she runs their TikTok page. Oh, I, I'm. I when right. you, when you said when you uh, said it has to be someone's birthday, I'm like the owner wouldn't be doing. It. I'm like. But the owner was there because he's at that he's at that location. Right. That's his look. He was there, so uh, he, she runs the TikTok. So she filmed it all for their TikTok, which she said she's going to post here in the next day or two. So we're like going to be on their TikTok as if we're like. You know, like we're celebrities. Well, I mean, listen. I don't know. Do you know anybody else? Do your Lex is like do, Lex. Does any of your friends get free food? This is my second free meal on my TikTok era. Okay. I mean, it's all relative. Like, yes, you are getting stroked free meals, but right. but in terms of celebrity, you probably are like the low le- lowest level they will give free food to at that restaurant. Right. I'm like, like a sea actor getting a free meal. You're like you're just making that sign that says you have to be this tall to ride this ride. Right. Right. Yeah. If you yeah. had a haircut that day, you wouldn't be riding. Right. Like yeah. exactly. So yeah. I uh, I was happy with it. it. Was I mean, it was an experience. That's for sure. There's no doubt. So the I food mean, was out of this world. Listen, I'd go back there. Anytime they give you the royal treat. First of all, like uh, just the fact that they, they you know, like, kind of ushered you in. Like, right. Like in a manner where people are looking and going, who is that? Because right, right. they must be somebody. It, you know, and then you get hooked up with uh, a bunch of free food. I mean, yeah, you won, right. the, you won the day. The rest of the day is all downhill from there. Right, we won the day for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, but no, and the food was like, I would go back there because the menu's so big. There's ten other things I want to try. Yeah, but well, this is like, I mean, I did get that experience. But when I was in uh, L.A. for two weeks, mm-hmm. I went to the Griddle, and okay. uh, and uh, it was so good. I went back like three more times. You know, I just right. I kind of made Try it, different things. I yeah, I just made it my morning breakfast place if mm-hmm. I was like close, and so you know right. I, I wasn't interested in tr- in checking anything else out that time of the day, even though I this was you know only my second time being in Los Angeles, I could have like kind of like went anywhere right? right and tried out a few other things. But I was like, no, this is good. I'll just come back here. We actually went to the same diner twice this week, City Diner in uh, Jersey City. Is it, so, cl- is it close to where you are? It is. It's walking distance, but the food was oh, was go. pretty good. I mean, it was. We went twice. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, so listen, when all of your walking, when you're saying you did all this walking, but all of the walking, the beginning and end of the walks were food based. Uh, activities. Well, I mean, listen. I mean, I like, okay. oh, like uh, you know, come on. <laughs> now the day we went to Brownstone, we, that we didn't eat again till dinner. That was like at eleven o'clock. We didn't eat again till I don't know what time is it? Seven o'clock. Yeah, something like that. When we ate, well, we didn't eat anything in between because I mean we were full. I did hear you just randomly pulled over and grabbed a slice at one point, though. Uh, that was the other day, yeah. And then today we <laughs> we pulled over at a hot dog cart and each got some dirty water yeah, dogs. So you know, you just like you know, not pl- right. like a planned stop. Just all of a sudden, like let's just right, right. <laughs> we were in Times Square today. We got some dirty water dogs with relish and fat piece sauerkraut of on them. You fat piece of shit. Yeah, we walked it off though. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Now, okay, so here's the I can't, breaking news. I can't wait. I can't. When are you home again? We we fly home tomorrow. Okay, so uh, when we record Friday's podcast, I'm putting you on a scale, my friend. I I I think I should just. It's an experiment to see if I gained any weight walking. Right. We need to know. Right. Yeah. Well, I do have some breaking news. Okay. Breaking news right here on the podcast. Hot news. Breaking. So. So I send the girl a message thanking her for allowing us to come there and eat and spoil us like this, like, you know, the kings and queens we are. Right. And uh, she says, do you live in New Jersey? And I said, no, uh, which we told her we didn't live there. We told her that I was in Atlanta and he was in Florida. And then she was like, would you be interested if I gave you enough advance to come in? Uh, I'll give you a month advance notice to come in for a influencer roundtable where you try out like new menu items and we talk about and make TikToks. I was like, oh, I've hit that level. I need mean, it. <laughs> like uh, uh, just just give give me two days notice I'll fly up for that shit. I don't even need a month notice. No. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. So yeah. It's where I'm at, pal. Yeah. Taking off. The big time. Big you, uh, time influencer. Yeah. I, I I'd say I'm jealous, but I'm so i I'm so uh I'm so uh, fat and out of shape myself that I, I 
I just feel sick even thinking about doing something like that right now. And I don't feel. I will tell you, I don't feel shitty here. It's weird. I think it's because we walk so. My my thighs. Oh my are god, the me. walking thing. Yeah. You well, don't believe me with your, the walking. Your thighs probably have started a few fires with all the. F no. Fat rubbing together all day. Do, do, have you ever looked at a map of New York City? It's I wish, pretty big. I, I I wish next time you go to New York. Yeah. yeah. I'm buying you a Jesus. I'm buying you a pair of corduroy pants. Just. Why? Just so you, everyone can hear you zipping around. Jesus. Tell, tell him to settle down. Can, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna forget his shoes. He, the idiot bought a hundred or two hundred and five dollar pair of Jordans today. Who? My idiot son. Wait, who, how do you do that? Because he had money. Oh, he has money. Where do you get money from? Well, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say buying Jordan Twelve retros, and I'm like. I'm just burying him to the girl at the thing, and she's like, man, you're all over him today. I was like, he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a moron. But, oh, he's mad that I have more money? How'd you go on this trip then, asshole? It's been, we, me and Nick have been at it all week at each other, so Nick the dick. Leave him there, man. Fuck it. No, that's what he wants. <laughs> Why would I do that? <laughs> well, it's win-win. I think he'll be happy and you'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to leave. So. I mean, I mean, just because just cause they're happy doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. I mean... Are, are you opposed to, uh, to uh, coming to visit me in New York, New Jersey? Who are you talking to? You. Yeah, I'm, sure. Why? I, I live here. Oh Jesus! You're there you're moving go. everywhere. I might move to Orlando. I might move here. I oh, it's two move. years. Two years. Every two years, I gotta get a move. No, I mean I know, but you've I just you've, hit my limit. You've, but you've uh, you've named like three destinations for this. I know. Move I know. Keep my options open. Make your fucking mind up. Here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. I hit my two year limit. It's time to you know time to move on. But uh, the food here is what sells me. I'm not even kidding you. Can like, I? Can I I say like I thought I didn't realize it was just like a calendar, like like circle on the date when you had to move. I thought it was totally related to how many local women you had pissed off. <laughs> yeah, I hit my limit in Atlanta. It's probably time to move on. I didn't think I didn't think you'd hit that number yet. So I oh, I'm there. <laughs> it's time to time to pack it up. Oh. Okay. Overnight. Well, that's then. That's really what we're talking about, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that, that's all I got today. Is uh, is it? We fly home tomorrow. Uh, I just wanted to talk about Brownstone and how good the food was. Uh, we are. We dropped in the ratings in the, in in our favorite place of the Dominican. We 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 tanked this week, but uh. Did we? It's I okay. Mean, I mean, but when did you look? Oh, it was this morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like. You can't count it on a day that we're not right, right. been on a podcast out. I mean, oh, yeah. a lot. I, I lied. Oh my god. Uh, technically, we do have a podcast out today. It's the uh, second half of the uh, weekend one. Yeah, uh, but I looked early this morning, four o'clock. Yeah, Marco and so. I. Marco will all of a sudden decide. He I saw what is it, like a nerd podcast. He is wants nerd to, stuff? He wants to start talking. He like like look. We. I'm like you can't just start talking about oddball subjects that we haven't normally right. talked about like we we goof and we don't have like a we don't have like a it's not like we have a like format but it's right, right. it's also we've never talked about this kind of stuff before in depth you know it's like nerdy geeky yeah. talk i'm like i'm like it's got to be a separate thing so i'm like right. first of all put it at the end so anyone that doesn't want to hear it could just turn it off and then I'm like, right. screw it. I'll just cut it in half and make it a separate podcast. So, yeah, te see that. technically we have one now. Whatever. It's all good. It doesn't Add to the brand, baby. It doesn't require any extra work, and we've now diversified right, right. our portfolio anyways. So, this, is, this is great. This yeah. is good stuff. Yeah. Because I don't even know what you guys were talking about because I don't pay attention to any of that shit. Well, it so. wasn't like you were going to fucking listen anyways. No, no, no. We, so. it, we could have named it. We could have literally titled that podcast, Anthony is the greatest human being on the planet, and you still wouldn't have bothered to listen to it. No, not, not even one bit, no. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, that's all I got. We fly home tomorrow. It's loud in here. We're, we're having our pizza party to go home. Pizza that's party. Uh, that's good. I, uh, Damn it, I forgot to get a cannoli. <laughs> you fat piece of shit. That's good. Uh, I did get a cannoli from Ferrara's oldest... Uh, Italian bakery was there in 1892 in Little Italy. We had a cannoli there today. So yeah, was it good? Yeah, I yeah. assume it was good. Sometimes, so. those, sometimes those old school places that like have like those, uh, 
recipes that are like yeah. super traditional aren't as good because like no it was good because food tastes better in 2020 than in 1920 you know yeah no it was good all right all right vandal's leaving here so this is yeah so all right well i think that's all we got it's a short one today it's all about food wrap it up right as it's going to get quiet again that's a great idea yeah Um, well no i got my kid nick the dick and whatever alexa's nickname is so we had snowball fights just go watch the TikToks because nobody else is. I'm yeah. shadow banned. So what? What is your? What is your TikTok? If you could yell it over. AJ Slambino. AJ Slambino. Go the, look at it. The cacophony of our vandal jackasses. Come are, along no, with we're not, Emily. No, we're not plugging those guys. I bleeped them. <laughs> tell my. Oh them. lord. Tell, oh goodbye. Tell, hey, hey, hey! Tell Vandal if what? he wants stock tips, he's gonna have to start listening to the podcast. Hey, yeah, you're you're he's not even listening to me. No, I'm saying later. Like if uh, I'll, I'll hide yeah. him in the podcast for now. Oh, that's a good idea. That's okay. a, at least one person has I'll to tell listen. Him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Oh, no, and now he's listening. No, no, we're good. He said, uh, stock tips. He's going to start putting them in the podcast. So you have to listen. He said, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do All right. <laughs> he tortured himself. All right. I know all the stories. That's it. We're done. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. This is the worst one ever. Jesus. Goodbye. Goodbye.